Recently, Dollywood ranked highly on TripAdvisor, and now the folks at Dollywood are doing what they do best, getting ready for that next big festival or event. And here to talk about all things Dollywood is our good friend, Wes Ramey. Good morning, Wes. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. I'm doing really well, but I'm not at Dollywood, and you are. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's hard to have a bad day when you're in Dollywood, so, you know. Uh, that's true, that's true. But congratulations, great things being said by the folks that come to Dollywood through TripAdvisor. Yeah, you know, that was something we're very proud of. Uh, TripAdvisor, they take all of the reviews that are on their site for theme parks around the world, and they are looking at what people are saying, the sentiment they're using, the star rating they're giving it, and they put that into a formula, and that formula pops out a list and uh, we were named the number eight best theme park in the entire world and number six in the entire country and it's something we're very proud of um, the other parks on the lists uh, on the world list are Disney or Universal Parks and then two European parks so we're the first park on the list that is not affiliated with those two companies or uh, in Europe so very honored to be part of that group a very elite group of parks and then in the United States, you take the two European parks uh, out of the list and we move up to number six, again, only behind Disney and Universal Properties. So very honored. And it just shows the experience that guests are seeing and, and having when they come with us because it's their actual reviews that they're leaving about their time at Dollywood that, that makes that ranking. And I think one of the big things that got you all into that into the top ten of both of those is the friendliness of the people there that work at Dollywood. I mean, I think that was a, the high-ranking thing that really put you all over the top. Yeah, you're exactly right. That is one of the things that a lot of the reviews mentioned were the employees and the way they feel when they're they're here at the park, the way they're treated. And it really does go back to, I mean, you're in the Tri-Cities. I'm from the Tri-Cities. This whole region, we, we know the, the people here are just very hospitable, very welcoming, and that's great uh, that when people come to the park, that's what they feel because when Do Dolly started the park back 35 seasons ago, she wanted people to experience that when they came. They, she wanted to draw people to the area to give the folks here jobs and for the people who were visiting to feel that, uh, you know, a love and appreciation of the area that uh, we all have. And one of the things that y'all are doing to show that love and appreciation is actually doing some great stuff for our essential workers. Talk about that. Yeah, so of course, you know, with everything that's been going on, it's the, the essential workers are what have kept everything going. And we know there's still, you know, a ways to go and we rely on those essential workers every day. But we want to be able to give them an opportunity to get away uh, for a little bit of time, try to forget what's going on outside the gates uh, of Dollywood. So we're inviting them to come uh, for essentially 50% uh, off. The ticket's $39.95. Uh, from now until September 21st and for those essential workers who are interested in that they can have the, the HR folks at their company go to dollywood.com slash essential sign up they'll go there fill out information and then our team here will send them a code that can be distributed to the entire company of essential workers and they can come visit us uh, the next uh, few weeks uh, during our operating days for thirty nine ninety five, which is just our way of saying thanks, come spend time with us and kind of forget what's going on outside the gates. Make those memories that you'll always keep. And talking about memories, y'all are already working toward making some more memories for this holiday season. You know, I, I don't even want to mention the word Christmas right now, but you all are already working toward Christmas and the fall and everything else, that, all the great stuff that happens there at Dollywood. Yeah, so around Dollywood, uh, we think about Christmas a lot because uh, usually in June we start hanging Christmas lights. And uh, now that we are into our uh, kind of our season between our summer and harvest beginning, we're closed Tuesday through Thursday right now. And it gives our special events team an opportunity to hang Christmas lights. So we were showcasing that just the other day. There are Christmas lights all throughout the park already. And while they're working on getting ready for Christmas, which begins on November 14th, they're also getting ready for our Harvest Festival, which features Great Pumpkin Luminots, which you've seen, right. you know how awesome that event is. That begins on September 25th. So you have these amazing two festivals, which are best in the industry. Last year, Great Pumpkin Luminots was named the best uh, Harvest Time event at any theme park in the world by USA Today. And Christmas is a 12-time golden ticket winner for best Christmas theme park event anywhere in the world. So you have those two things coming up, amazing festivals. We've got to get ready for it. So our crews are hard at work right now, 
uh, getting ready for that on the days during the week that we are closed. But again, we're still open Friday through Monday, so uh, come down and see us. And I'm going to go back to those accolades that you all have been getting because I'm going to mention one that was kind of off the beaten path a little bit, food. Uh, you all were really recognized for your food, especially Aunt Granny's Kitchen there. Yeah, yeah, Aunt Granny's, which is an awesome place to eat. I love it. Um, now, with everything going on right now, it is now more of a family style. Right. So not the buffet that you're used to with everything going on with the pandemic, but everything socially distanced. It's a great experience that uh, people are, are raving about. But yeah, it was named uh, number four on USA Today's 10 best uh, best theme park restaurant list. So just a lot of great awards. Lightning Rod was the number seven roller coaster. Right. Dream World was the number three resort. Um, Dollywood was number six uh, on that list. So just a lot of great awards this time of year for us that we're very proud of. And, you know, it just goes back to what we were saying at the beginning. It's the experience that folks have when they come here. It's world class, and they are excited to share that with the, the folks back home when they go home that uh, they want them to come here and see it for themselves. And I can't wait to get down there and see it again for myself. And I, I know a lot of folks up here are the same way. Wes, we appreciate you. We could sit here and talk Dollywood all day, but we're kind of running out of time. But it got a lot going on, and folks are going to be heading down to Dollywood soon. Thanks. Yeah. Come down and see us. We appreciate it. All right. Wes Ramey right there from Dollywood. We got the information. Dollywood.com. Great website. Get on there. Plan your trip today.